Okay, this is a, a video of me fooling around with my Ico 368 sweep generator. Uh, so I, have the, I have it hooked up right now. I've got the marker turned off. I'm running the sweep generator. I've got it hooked up to my scope. The time division is set to 0.1 microseconds, I guess is what that is. Which is as fast as my 10 megahertz scope will go. And right now the sweep width is set to zero. Now watch what happens as I increase the sweep. You'll start to see it fuzz up as it sweeps through. That's maximum sweep. So that's what it looks like when I go in and out of sweep. Now I'm going to slow it down to the vertical rate. There we go. Well, right there I guess that shows pretty well. And what you're seeing here, I assume, is a blanking pulse, and then this is the sweep that is now, you know, because of the speed, it all shows up as one. You can't really see the change in the sweep width a little bit, I guess you can see. But it's not pre it's pretty hard to pick up at this slower rate. But anyway, that's how it works. I don't know how this is going to come out on my camera. Let me see if I can expand one of those. I can't get it to really sync up with that very well. That's just a direct connection from the RF out to the scope. Uh, one more thing I also do with this when I'm setting this up. Uh, this this frequency counter will be all messed up. At least if I reduce the sweep with the zero, I should be able to get a reading there. Okay, let's see how close that is. I have it on range D. Well, I don't think that's... You, can't, you really can't trust uh, the frequency counter, I think, when it's working with the sweep generator. But what I can do is I can take it from here. What I do use is the marker. This is very convenient for setting your markers because they have a marker oscillator here. I mean, this isn't that important. The calibration of this, I mean, you want to get in the ballpark. You want the markers to be pretty accurate. So, let me turn this all the way off. And now you see I've got nothing. And now I'll turn the marker. I think I typically run it in range 3. And I'm at 20.68 megahertz which is I'm right at 21 so I've already gone through and tried to calibrate as best I can I'm going to go on up to say 24 so that's pretty close but that's why I like to use a frequency counter is this way you can dial it in exactly I can go right to 24 here And I can just go back to here. So I used the I used the exterior marker RF out here to connect up to my frequency counter. Then I use a separate one here. And what I'll do for that is I usually use this uh, this tool right here, this matching pad, which I'll connect to right here. You know, and then I'm good to go. Anyway, there you have it. I just wanted to show the little oscillator fun with the uh, sweet with the sweet generator and the oscillator. Thank you.